Hey guys, this is The Edge. And this is Joel Messenger. And we're going in depth on how to train like and fight like Spider Man. The Web Slinger has no official martial arts training, which means we give him the name and we get to create his fighting style from scratch. We're going to go with the name Guillaume Guille, meaning Art of the Spider. The martial art is based on flexibility and speed, as brute strength is not a key trait of Spider Man. Although possessing Spidey strength, Spider-Man still tends to fight like he's built, well, skinny. Guillaume Guillaume is a very physics-heavy martial art. Training with the grappling hook is a centerpiece of the, of the art of the spider. The opening of most of Spider-Man's fights is a large swinging move on the webs. The Guillaume equivalent will be using superior height and momentum to swing into a group using the grappling hook. Spider-Man was, well, kind of a nerd in high school. Although seemingly insignificant to this, it factors into his martial arts quite heavily. Spider-Man almost always fights groups of people. And this experience with high school bullies gives him insider knowledge as to how the bully complex works. You take out the biggest guy and the lackeys follow. Guillaume Aguirre also operates heavily on surprise. Most commonly when fighting, you can see Spider-Man swinging to take out the largest opponent first, followed by immediately striking other opponents so fast that the rest of the group doesn't even know what's happening yet. Using both kicks punch and punches, Guillaume Aguirre is most notable for its ability to utilize jumping kicks and large full body kicks that leave large gaps in your guard. In traditional martial arts and fighting, these techniques are, well, shied away from, as far as they leave the user incredibly vulnerable. However, the art of the spider makes up for this huge level of vulnerability with speed of technique. To comment even further on the obvious con of vulnerability, Spider-Man rarely blocks. Why? Simply because he doesn't have to. With the proper training outlined in the rest of this video, dodging will become the default defensive postional for any practitioner of Guillaume Guillet. Spider-Man swings from building to building, shoots webs to blind people's eyes, fights multiple opponents at once, and ascends to great heights with ease and speed, things that we all as normal people can't do without gear. Spider-Man swings around from building to building, well, like a spider, using synthetic webbing to hold his weight of his own design. Although lots of people have attempted, nobody's quite captured the effectiveness seen in the movies for a real-life replica. So where does that leave you, the aspiring Spider-Man? Well, you have to find an equivalent way to swing. Enter the grappling hook. Although not as glamorous as the web shooters, it will hold your weight and it will allow you to gain height on your opponent as well as swing into them all. It will also give you an advantage in the same way the webs do for tripping up your opponents. The web shooters. Spider-Man also uses his webs to blind enemies, firing a web-like substance into the eyes of his opponents. The real-life equivalent of this can be most easily carried out using the web shooter shown in the next weapons workshop to blind your foes. Unfortunately, you only have one shot per cannon, so be sure to make it count. It's important to note that Spider-Man does not wear any sort of armor. Just like with his fighting style, he makes up for the obvious vulnerability with speed. He has no gear armor. Arms. You need arms. Weight lift as much as possible using your body weight. Using steel and becoming so built that you no longer maneuver your weight is incredibly counterproductive to the Spider-Man fighting style. Spidey strength is no joke and must be replicated in order to fully copy the Spider-Man, but within reason to keep your size where you need it to be. Rock climb whenever possible. Train on every rock climbing wall you can find, ascend every vertical rope there is, and pull up on every horizontal bar you see. Your equivalent fighting style is predicated entirely upon the speed with which you can maneuver around the rope of your grappling hook. Accuracy will be a big part of your training as well, both with your eye blinding guns and with your grappling hook. You have to be able to fire both of these tools quickly and accurately. Your survival depends upon it. Train running. Cardio is a must to be Spider-Man. From climbing walls to just straight running, which may be more apt depending upon your city of choice, cardio is almost more important than strength. Spider-Man's style is based purely upon evasion. If you get shot, you're done. Practicing awareness, although can never fully train to replicate Spidey sense and combat awareness, is a must with an evasion-based fighting style. You need to know where everyone is and exactly what they're doing at all times. Blindfold yourself and have a group of friends walk around and try to point them all out. Once proficient at this, fight with this group of people. Fighting a group will force your awareness into overdrive by necessity. Maneuverability to the sides is more important than straight line speed. 
Practice dodging, juking, fading, anything to get inside the reach and effective range of your opponent. For more extensive and, and intensive training notes, watch The Amazing Spider Dude on YouTube. He's in The Guardians for a reason. The man is on top of his superhero training and has some good content that can really help with the finer details of becoming a web slinger. The only remotely defensive techniques found in GG are dodging. Master of this skill requires a lot of practice fighting. There's really no exact drills for dodging, so simply find some friends and fight them with your hands behind your back. This will slowly grant you the intuition of dodging attacks. And after the intuition is established, start adding Wing Chun style redirects to seal the deal. The style that emerges from this training will be a deadly one, consisting of closing off opponents and leaving their hands open to strikes. This is the foundation of Guillaume Gie. The Tornado Kick. This kick is a mainstay in mixed martial arts and heavy kicking arts. It's a double whammy, offering two opportunities to strike opponents in rapid succession. Move forward with a toe-pointed roundhouse kick to an open target area. Head or ribs, it doesn't really matter, as both are heavily affected by toe-pointed roundhouse. Stepping in with your kicking leg, throw your original base leg up and kick with the same kicking leg again to whichever target area is now opened. The second kick is also going to be a toe-pointed roundhouse, but in a pinch it can be modified to wield a defensive outside inside kick for blocking applications. Find any place that will support you and practice swinging feet first at targets. Accuracy is incredibly important, not only for hitting your target, but also impacting the specific person within a group. When kicking, pull your toes back when striking and lead with the heel of your, of your foot. This will take the kick from a moving technique to a rib-shattering power kick. The Philadelphia Backspin Kick this kick operates under the same principle as a standard backspin kick, twisting your body up, finding your target, and then unfurling your contorted leg to strike your opponent with the bottom of your heel, generally in the head. The Philadelphia backspin kick, however, is different in that it much better participates in the Guillaume Aguirre style of sacrificing open target areas for speed. To perform a Philadelphia backspin kick, use your entire upper body as a counterbalance, throwing it downwards as you throw your foot upwards. This makes the kicker much more vulnerable, but it boosts the speed incredibly. A powerful exemplification of what Yomya Gie is all about. Now this is the beginning level of learning how to become Spider-Man in real life. And if you would like to learn the more advanced techniques, I would love to make a video just about those, teaching you more in depth about those. But this video has to hit 500 views first. And once we do that, I will make that video. So until then, this is The Edge, signing out.